Hello dear students in this video we shall see the figure of speech used in the poem Ulysses written by Alfred Lord Tennyson Here we shall see the figure of speech for each line It little profits that an idle king irony has been used highlighting the uselessness of an idle king and also epithet is used in the words idle king idle describes the king by this still hearth among these barren crags imagery creating a vivid picture of the setting and epithet in the words barren cracks barren describes cracks matched with an aged wife epithet in the words aged wife aged describing the wife i meet and dole unequal loss epithet in the words unequal loss unequal describes the loss unto a savage race again epithet savage describes the race that hoard and sleep and feed and know not me polis and diton usage of and for more than required number of times i cannot rest from travel hyperbole exaggerating the inability to rest i will drink life to the lees life has been compared to a drink hence metaphor all times i have enjoyed greatly hyperbole exaggerating the enjoyment have suffered greatly again hyperbole exaggerating the suffering and also contrast suffered and enjoyed or contrasted both with those that loved me and alone antithesis contrasting being with the loved ones and being alone on shore and went through scudding drifts imagery has been used the poet creates a vivid picture of the scene here the rainy hyads vex to the dim sea personification is used giving the hyads human like quality of vexation i am became a name metaphor comparing oneself to a name that is ulysses compares himself to a name for always roaming with a hungry heart metaphor for ulysses always roams with a hungry entity like an animal you can take much have i seen and known hyperbole exaggerating what has been seen and known cities of men and manners climates councils governments enumeration listing the examples myself not least but honored of them all contrast there is a explicit using of but to contrast and drunk delight of battle with peers metaphor comparing the battle to a drink for on the ringing plains of windy troy allusion referring to the trojan war i am a part of all that i have met metaphor comparing oneself to a part of something yet all experience is an arch where through metaphor comparing experience to an arch gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades personification giving the world human like qualities epithet in the words untraveled world untraveled describes the part of the world which is not traveled forever and forever when i move hyperbole exaggerating the duration how dull it is to pause to make an end it's not a question hence it is rhetorical question not wanting an answer to rust unburnished not to shine in use metaphor comparing to a tool if that is not used for a longer time it may rust comparison hence metaphor as though to breathe were life simile comparing breathing to life life piled on life were all too little hyperbole exaggerating the accumulation of life and of one to me little remains allusion referring to the idea of limited time but every hour is saved from that eternal silence euphemism eternal silence refers to death a polite alternate used something more a bringer of new things personification giving time human like qualities of bringing something and while it were for some three suns to store and hoard myself again hyperbole exaggerating the duration and this gray spirit yearning in desire metaphor comparing the spirit to a yearning entity ulysses compares himself to a spirit hence metaphor to follow knowledge like a sinking star simile comparison made using the word like beyond the utmost bound of human thought hyperbole exaggerating the extent of knowledge this is my own son mine own telemachus apostrophe addressing a person who is not present that is telemachus to whom i leave the scepter and the isle metaphor comparing the scepter to power or authority and also use of synecdoche using isle to represent the whole kingdom this labor by slow prudence to make mild metaphor comparing labor to a task or challenge oxymoron combining slow and prudence for emphasis a rugged people and through soft degrees epithet in the words rugged people rugged describing people and in soft degrees soft describing degrees 
subdue them to the useful and the good antithesis contrasting rugged with useful and good you have to read alongside the previous line most blameless is he centered in the spear metaphor comparing life to a spear of common duties descent not to fail in office of tenderness and pay metaphor comparing duties to offices and epithet common duties common is used to describe the duties meet adoration to my household gods metaphor comparing gods to household members when i am gone he works his work i mine antithesis contrasting his sand mine there lies the port the vessel of sir sail personification giving the vessel human like actions of puffing imagery a vivid description of the scene at the port there gloom the dark broad seas epithet in the words broad seas broad describing the seas and personification giving human like quality of gloominess to seas my mariners souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me apostrophe addressing the absent people that is his mariners and metaphor comparing souls to sailors that ever with a frolic welcome took that thunder and the sunshine personification giving welcome human like quality of taking metaphor comparing thunder and sunshine to challenges and also contrast thunder and sunshine and opposed free hearts free foreheads you and i are old allusion a reference made to the idea of age and experience and metaphor comparing hearts and foreheads to freedom old age hath yet his honor and his toil personification giving old age human like qualities of honor and toiling death closes all but something at the end personification death is personified here it is given the human quality of closing some work of noble note may yet be done epithet in the words noble note note is described using the word noble not unbecoming men that strove with gods hyperbole exaggerating the comparison the lights begin to twinkle from the rocks imagery a vivid description of the scene the long day wanes the slow moon climbs the deep moons round with many voices personification day moon and deep are given the human like actions of waning climbing and morning come my friend it's not too late to seek a newer world apostrophe here also addressing the absent friends push off and sitting well in order smite the surrounding furrows metaphor comparing the sea to furrows for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until i die here allusion referring the idea of a journey to the afterlife it may be that gulfs will wash us down personification giving gulfs human like qualities of washing it may be we shall touch the happy isle allusion here also referring the mythological happy isles and see the great achilles whom we know here also allusion referring to the mythological hero achilles though much is taken much abides antithesis contrasting taken and abides and though we are not now that strength which in old days allusion again here referring to the past achievements moved earth and heaven that which we are we are hyperbole exaggerating the impact of past achievements that is moving earth and heaven and repetition in the words we are one equal temper of heroic hearts epithet in the words heroic hearts heroic describes the hearts made weak by time and fate but strong in will contrast weak but strong to strive to seek to find and not to yield anaphora repeating to in every phrase for emphasis i hope dear students This video will help you in understanding the figure of speech used in the poem Ulysses. If you like the video, share with your friends. Click the like button. Subscribe my channel. You can get the new updates and also you can watch the earlier videos. Thank you. Happy learning.